your dream is the most important thing in this world. You got to dream about something so big that it dwarfs all your fears. The way you overcome fear is with your dream. You got to make your dream so big that nothing matters except that dream. You're willing to do everything that's necessary. I was listening to Will Smith the other day. Will Smith said the best things in life is on the other side of fear. It's on the other side of fear. But fear freezes people, man. The fear of failure freezes people. Suppose I don't do it. Well, you might, you might not make it. But I got news for you. If you don't do it, you damn sure ain't gonna make it. The very fact that you're alive, the very fact that you were born, the very fact that every morning your contract is renewed, is a vote of confidence that you are absolutely necessary, that you're indispensable, that you have within you everything you need to face any challenge. That doesn't mean we won't be challenged. Your gift will make room for you. Now, what is your gift? It's the thing that you do the absolute best with the least amount of effort. That's your gift. Quit running away from the gift. Your gift will make room for you. Stop trying to be something you ain't gifted at. You have to understand if you don't execute on the plan, if you don't get up in the morning when you're feeling tired, scared, if you don't execute, you're not just cheating yourself. You're cheating your family, you're cheating your employees, you're cheating your team, whatever you're a part of, it's bigger than you, man. All failure is psychological. This does not mean that you won't lose some battles because you will, but it does mean that as long as you don't give up, as long as you don't quit, then you haven't failed. It just means you've made a, a temporary tactical retreat means you've made a, a brief withdrawal so that you can regroup the attack don't die with this gift and don't never use it all of y'all got this wonderful gift but you gotta use it some of you are not successful because every single time you run up against a trial every time you run up against a tribulation you stop there is no getting around Ain't no elevator to the top. You got to take the stands. Stop trying to do everything the short way. Stop trying to figure out the easy way. You got to get messed up sometimes. The elevator don't go to the top, man. Not in the world of success. You got to take the stands. You got to understand that success, you can't Google success. I want to talk to you today about the power of I am. What follows these two simple words will determine what kind of life you live. I am blessed, I am strong, I am healthy, or I am slow, I am unattractive. The I am's that are coming out of your mouth will bring either success or failure. All through the day, the power of I am is at work. We make a mistake, I am so clumsy. We look in the mirror, I am so old. We see somebody very talented, I am so average. Many times we use the power of I am against us. We don't realize how it's affecting our future. Here's the principle. What follows the I am will always come looking for you. Stop complaining and do me a favor. If you want to make a difference, all you got to do is one thing. This is how you can start it. You want something different? Listen to me. All you got to do is make a decision. That's it. See, when you begin to understand and acknowledge your fear, and you go forth anyhow, you go forth in a spirit and a knowing that there's a way that you can begin to handle this. There's a way out here somewhere, there's a solution, what it is that you're seeking, that you have the capacity to whatever comes up, to handle it, to face it. And rather than feeling powerless, you begin to feel powerful.